Hello, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel today. I want to teach you how to easily create a background using vector motion. Once you've named your project, click on the scene option, then select color layer, followed by gradient color style. A stroke with two points will appear. Click on either point and change the color to blue. Drag the point with the blue color upwards and the second point with white color downwards to create a vertical line. By doing this, you've successfully created the sky. Next, we'll create the ground layer. Click on the rectangular layer option and shape it by making a freehand gesture with your finger. Adjust the width and size. Convert the rectangular shape to a path by selecting color and effect layer. Then click on the edit tool. Tap on the sides you wish to edit to add editing points to the rectangular shape. Hold down the newly created point and select the second editing style. Now you can adjust the shape of the rectangular layer as you like and change its color. To add a stroke line, click on Stroke. Select the drawing tool and create a zigzag shape. Change the color of the grass layer to green. Duplicate the grass layer by clicking and dragging it aside. Deepen the green color and move the duplicated layer backward. Create another grass layer and place it behind the ground layer. To apply a blur effect to the grass layer, Go to the color tool, click on FX, add a blur effect. Adjust the width to your preference. Now, let's create clouds. Use the drawing tool to draw cloud shapes and change their color to white. Apply a blur effect. and then reduce the opacity in the color layer settings. Repeat these steps for another cloud. Finally, let's create the sun layer. Select the circle layer using your shape tool. And change the color to yellow. To create sun rays, Duplicate the sun layer and increase the width. Place it behind the sun. Go to the effects layer and add a blur effect. Then reduce the opacity to 75%. That's how you create a background for your animation from scratch. I'll be showing you how to create a puppet or character with vector motion in my next video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.